It's time to stop! It's time to stop! Hey everyone, I'm Lorenzo and welcome to the second volume of releasing games for the Nintendo GameCube. City Racer, also called Downtown Run, is Blur, but Blur before Blur was actually released. Here do you get to race licensed cars with power-ups you collect on the road like in Mario Kart. That's about it, it's pretty generic, in spite having an original idea. Crazy Taxi is a legendary game most gamers have already played. It was originally an arcade game and it was and remains awesome. You can choose from 4 drivers and get going. You pick up clients who are always in a hurry and start driving like a maniac to their destination. The gameplay is arcadey, you can slam into traffic and basically slam into everything, you can even drive underwater, you have a timer and get penalties if you don't get to the destination in time, but you get time bonuses if you do. The GPS arrow is misleading, which isn't great, but other than that, other than the misleading GPS arrow, I can't complain about the game. It, it's awesome. Dakar 2 brings something new to this series on GameCube. In this one, not only that you get cars, but trucks and bikes too. There are 18 vehicles in total to unlock, 8 cars, 4 trucks and 6 bikes. And the game has around 12 tracks. The gameplay is arcadey and in rest it's similar to the other ones. It's a good game, just like the others. Driven is a movie tie-in game. Don't worry, before playing the game I didn't knew that the movie existed. It's not great, just like the game. The story mode consists of 14 races, recreated from the movie. The main flaw of the game are the controls. They are utterly clunky. You can't take corners smoothly. If you press in one direction, the car tends to go 90 degrees in that direction, which forces you to constantly press the button to adjust. Overall. It's a bad game. F-Zero GX is one of the most extreme racing games I've encountered. If you're a casual gamer and want to play this game, forget it. This one is for the hardest hardcore gamers out there. The game gets to incredible speeds, making it impossible to finish the game without memorizing the game through muscle memory. But if you're up to the challenge, the game is incredibly well made, having 20 beautiful and memorable tracks and 30 playable characters. The game has a Grand Prix and a story mode with funny cutscenes following the adventures of Captain Falcon. This game is a hidden gem, and if you can handle the atrociously difficult gameplay, then it's a masterpiece that deserves more recognition than it gets nowadays. Okay, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, click the join button and choose one of the perks. You have the link to the join button in the description. Also, you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord if you want. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and there will be thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.